Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in comments below. Well, I am so excited to be with you today. What we have is a new worksheet that combines two of my favorite things. It combines reading with math, and these are called word problems. And we've got some tricky word problems for us today, but I know that you guys can do it because you are so smart. So let's get started. We've got tricky word problems part one. And it says, read the number story and answer the questions. What we're gonna do is we're gonna read the number story two times. The first time we're gonna read it to understand what the story is talking about. And then the second time we're gonna read it to figure out what to do with the numbers in the story. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. There were 15 frogs in the grass. So it's a story about frogs. Five frogs jumped into the water and two frogs hopped away. Okay, so this, that was the first time. Now we're gonna read it and we're gonna figure out what to do with the numbers. And I'm gonna make notes to myself so that I can figure out what to do with the numbers in this story. So let's read it again. There were 15 frogs in the grass. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna come over here and I'm gonna make a note to myself. There are 15 frogs and they start off the frogs in the grass, okay? So here's 15, there's 15 frogs, they're in the grass. Then it says five frogs jumped into the water. So we've got the number 15 and then five of them go away. So if they go away, we would subtract, right? So five of them jump into the water, okay? And then it says, and two frogs hopped away. So then two of them go away. All right, so then it says, how many frogs left the grass in total? Now, the first time I read this, I thought it said left in the grass because my brain was trying to figure out what the whole problem meant. But don't be tricked on it. It says, how many frogs left the grass in total? So if they left, they were the ones that went away. So we've got five of them that went away and two of them that went away from the grass. So what we need to do here is we need to add up those two numbers. So we've got five and two. How many does that equal? Now over here, I put subtract because that means that they went away from the 15 total. But the question one more time says, how many frogs left the grass in total? The words in total lets us know that we need to add them up. So five plus two, okay is five, six, seven. So it's gonna be seven. So let's find that equation over to the side. Five plus two is seven. Let's see if we can find it. Five plus two is eight. Nope, that's not the right answer. Five minus two. Nope, we're trying to add in total. We're trying to add them, so that wouldn't be right. And then two plus five equals seven. Five plus two and two plus five are the same thing, so that's actually the correct answer. So I'm gonna put a check right here next to that equation, okay? Then the next one says, how many frogs stayed in the grass? Check two correct solutions two correct solutions, so, so there's gonna be two answers to this one, okay? So let's figure out what we need to do. We've got 15 minus five minus two. That was originally gonna give us the answer, 15 minus five minus two. So let's see if we can find that over here. 15 minus five minus two. Well, there it is, 15 minus five minus two, and it says it equals eight. I think that that's correct, but let's go ahead and go ahead and solve this problem so that we can figure out how much this is. So let's take 15, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And we're gonna do just that. We're gonna take away five. So one, two, three, four, five. And we're also gonna take away two. One, two, and that is gonna give us the answer. And hopefully that's eight. So let's figure it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's correct. So 15 minus five minus two equals eight. So I'm gonna put a check next to that one. But the direction said check 
two correct solutions. So let's see if we can find another solution. Now remember back to this first problem where we had two plus five equals seven. Seven can be written instead of five and two. So let's see if we find a problem that says 15 minus seven, which is the same as this, five and two, equals, and we know that the answer is going to be eight total because it's the same thing whether we count five or seven. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's the same thing and it'll give us eight both times. So 15 minus seven, let's see if we find that one. 15 minus seven equals eight. There it is. That's our second solution to this problem. That was really tricky today, but you guys are such smart cookies. Great job today. I will see you guys again next time. Bye-bye. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.